Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's Needle here and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last time out we got that bitch ass ending, check it out, it says the end above there now so we did that. We can do a new run. Um, yeah, we completed the chest with Azazel. Yeah, you see there we've got the kind of Polaroid symbol there right in the center. So that means we've done that, that's good, we can go for the nega with the Azazel if we want but we're not going to because we played the Azazel way too much in the last little while. We could do Isaac or Maggie. Kane. Hmm, I mean I'm tempted to go with someone we haven't really got a lot of stuff on. And that's his Maggie, so we'll do a Maggie run. Why the hell not? Got Curse of the Unknown on the first floor. Maggie does start with extra HP, I do know that much. I think it's four hearts. We should be okay, we shouldn't really take a lot of damage anyway, providing we play right. Hmm. Hmm. This is an interesting dilemma. I'm not too sure what the answer is here, to be honest. Yeah, that was not the answer. There we go, though. <laughs> we pressed the button and we got the hero fan. Oh, should we pop it right away? I don't see the point on the first floor because you don't get a devil room anyway. So if we pop it to start at the next floor, that gives us a reason to use it. Yum heart or the notch stacks? I think that's a pretty <laughs> silly question. I think we'll stick with yum heart for the time being. We'll not pop it yet, though. We'll pop it pretty before we go into the boss or something. Just to make sure we're going in there with as much HP as possible. Take these guys out. So Maggie run. I mean we start off with good HP so I guess you want to make sure that from the second floor onwards you're not taking a lot of damage because then you can get your devil deals or your angel deals if you so prefer. And with uh, one devil deals with Maggie's superior HP you can afford to trade a lot of stuff that was silly damage from me. Should have been a little bit more aggressive I think in my pursuit of these guys. Making sure they couldn't come after me. There we go. Take these all out. You know what's funny? I remember obviously playing this game way, way back in the day when it was still basically run by Flash. And then we got the sort of announcement and the trailers for this game coming out, this version of it. And everyone sort of called them, I think it was at the time, Game Boy Advance graphics. And I think it's kind of weird now looking back on that because really it does not look anything like Game Boy Advance graphics. <laughs> I don't know if that was a common thing people say, it's just I knew people who did say that and I also called it that at the time but when I look back on it now I feel kind of silly just because it has a sort of kind of pixely black border around stuff which is weird, this is way better graphics than the GBA ever so I actually think. Alright, you get out of here we'll take that healing so we're at full HP for this boss. Little horn, well thankfully we have fire in the room so that should actually mitigate some of the headache. If we can just push him over into it, that would be nice. Yeah, so just run, run into the fire, sir. Be consumed. There we go. Oh no! Well, okay. Well, kind of screwed us there. No. Damn. Yes, killed himself with his own bomb. I'll take that. This tears and shot speed up. Does it not also give us a soul heart? I'm not too sure. We don't have any bombs, we have one key, so we're not going to go looking for secret rooms or anything. We're going to head down and find the next item room. Once we know what we have here, basement to pop the Hierophant, I guess. Or Hierophant, I apologise. I believe that's actually how it's said. I've got this wrong more times than I can count. I wasn't too sure how many directions he could fire in. Thought it might have been four. But alas, it is not. Hopefully he drops his the HP upgrade. Oh, large. It's two. It's plus two hearts. Which is pretty nice, actually. It slows you down right enough, but hey. Plus two. Oh, well, this could be, yeah. <laughs> Cupid's arrow? Yeah, I thought that's what it was. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with this room at all. I'm gonna be honest. But we're through it now, it did cost us a soul heart, which is frustrating, and also my own fault, but... Cupid's arrow, piercing shots, and also a shot speed up, I think, at the same time. It seems like it is, at the very least. We should probably pop, yeah, yum heart, and then maybe go back and get the battery. Well, I mean, we're only half a heart off, so there's no much point in doing that, I don't think. We'll carry on. Should be monstro. <laughs> Isn't it always on this floor? We'll grab this heart because we can go recharge your heart after you. Ragman, that is a pain in the ass for a second floor boss. Little horn and Ragman, that is 
A difficult start. Not a difficult start, but a more difficult start than you could reasonably expect most of the time. Just going to focus all the damage on that head there. I'm not going to let him get one off. Nope. I'm not sure what that attack was, <laughs> quite honestly. I was like, uh, what? Who's going to kill him? Because he's annoying me. <laughs> right, and these guys are relatively easy to take care of. Goodbye, sir. Eight ball. Short speed up, and I think that gives us something. Two of spades. Keys, I believe that is. We've got Dark Bum. Should we forgo Devil Deals and go for Dark Bum? That's how not to run away from a my homing bomb there guys and then we're gonna go down to the next floor yeah it's fine so we've got dark bomb which means we should hopefully be able to recuperate our soul hearts super wow what is with this super gluttony super uh pride or envy was not i forget he's not really doing anything <laughs> is he meant to do this yeah i was gonna say he does not have any attacks the hanged man two of spades We'll take the handman for now. We'll come back for uh, two of spades whenever we have more keys. Oh, what a waste, Dark Bomb. Why would you do that? Carrying on, anyway. Right, okay. Yeah, this is annoying. A little bumping off each other. Making some bad mistakes here. Oh, and again. We're going to pop Yum Heart here. We'll probably forgo on our chance now for a Devil Deal on this floor, which is annoying. But that's what happens with whenever you have on that last floor. I totally screwed up the... Sorry, let me just take care of these guys. I totally screwed up the spike room. And then I totally screwed up on the boss as well. At least with these guys, you can target them whenever they're not active. I hate those rooms where there's like stuff getting fired everywhere and... Oh, I didn't even realise... Oh, that was such bad damage. Well, any chance we had that double room is now absolutely gone. Some more keys here. That's good. If we can stockpile keys and then pop two of spades, that would be nice. It would set us up for the full floor. It's our damage. Oh, God. I've now officially been damaged by uh, a gish. Or a ball of tar, however you want to call it. That's that's a new low for me. It's our damage though, for sure. We're taking a little bit longer than we have in many previous runs to actually kill things. And that's what's holding us back at the moment, so we need to go find a damage up, preferably in the item room. Got four keys, so we should probably go grab that two of spades and pop it. I bet it's not even about two of spades is bombs, but Yeah, knew it was keys. Knew it. Leave it to me, guys. I've got it covered. Pop your heart. And hopefully we can start coming across some red hearts and Dark Bum can start doing his thing. Oh, jeez. It's going to take way too long to kill these guys. I'm not good at dodging their attacks. You seem to be getting all the bad rolls for enemies and stuff today. Hopefully that'll come to an end. I'm not too sure where that is. Is that the one that Samson has? Is it bloody tears or something? Oh, anemic toxic blood. Not sure what that is. is. That if someone touches us, they become poisoned, perhaps. But then again, that's just poison touch. So I don't understand why they'd maybe give it its own sort of item. Again, look at this terrible dodging for me. Okay, so I think I get creep. I think that's what it is. It's giving us a sort of toxic creep thing going there when we take damage in a room. Here's the boss, so we're definitely not going to get anything provided we even survive this boss. I hate fighting the frail. Such an annoying boss. I just find his, um... This is fine, but I mean, I find his... Uh, yeah, his brimstone stuff to be absolute bullshit, quite honestly. I mean, this has been a difficult first couple of floors when you consider the bosses we've had compared to who you can get. Feasibly, we could have had, uh, you know, like, Larry Jr., Monstro, 
And oh, experimental treatment. Oh. Experimental treatment. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean we have a uh, we have crap stats at the moment anyway, so I just thought it was definitely worth a punt because you never know. It seems our damage has actually gone up by one, so it might have been the right gamble to take. Not really noticing it at the moment. Two diamonds, it's not really useful for us in the moment. If we maybe got to at least 10 cents, I'd consider it, but not with four. Uh, the piercing damage has worked very well on them. The world. Uh, better than Hangman, really, isn't it? Hangman's very situational. If we could find a reason to use Hangman, we'll come back and pick it up. Is that simple? Yet more poor damage. I mean, I can't make excuses because you really, you should be smart enough to dodge these attacks and I've just not been. But at the same time, oh come on Dark Bomb, that's poor. At the same time, our movement speed and damage is not what we're used to, so... Surprised that. Is this a joke? Oh, okay, is that just a visual glitch? That was weird, I thought we'd just like been forced to take inescapable damage there. I see now it was all a mistake. Yeah, here we go. Looking good, looking good. So we did have that soul heart, was that on this floor or another floor? I forget. So I think we should be safe for the time being, as long as we can get something. I mean, we kind of haven't even had any drops or anything yet. It feels like we're playing on hard. <laughs> we're getting zero drops and things like that, but... We didn't get, uh... Like, anything, everything is worse or whatever. We've already had that before, so I don't understand why this run is so much more unforgiven. But I guess that's the nature of RNG, yeah, is random. Soul Heart, fantastic. Exactly what we needed at this point in time. We can get them in a line. Pierce arrows should help us out with that one. Stigmata, it's had damage up. And an HP up. Lovely. We're up to, no, it's just not, still not went over 4 or 3 damage. I bet it'll be noticeable, I'm sure. Oh, it literally just came in the room. I think this is, uh... No, I was going to say I think it should maybe drop a heart that Heart Bomb could pick up, but... No such luck. Hate these enemies, like, they're just tanking and tanking and tanking. Come on, stop sponging the damage. Stop avoiding the damage, actually. And then we get a bomb. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, you messed with the wrong guy today, spider. I am not in a good mood. Shop. We don't have enough for... If we had at least 10 cents, like I say, I could go back and grab two of diamonds and maybe split out this same room again. He's got to line stuff up. Okay, we got lucky with that one. Okay, so there you go, at least we learned our lesson from the last room. I need to be more conscious of where I'm moving, that is literally the problem. I've just been running around like a headless chicken and not actually been paying attention to the way that I'm dodging. And that's what's killing me at the moment, I think. Literally killing me at the moment. Half heart, go, grab it. There's my man. Finally. The hollow. That kind of makes up for the crap we've had to deal with so far. Gold Hollow, doesn't that mean he drops money? Yeah, he's dropped a little bit of money. <laughs> Put some money over there. Yeah, hey, that's just a ton of soul hearts all in a row. Thank you very much. Bet this is Krampus though, and he's going to take them all back off us. Hmm, is that the pact? Yeah. I see no reason not to take it at this moment in time. Gave us some soul hearts back, or is that just our extra soul hearts? But I guess they don't do that anymore. The soul hearts can off the screen. But we're starting to get the ball rolling now, as we usually do. It's always, pardon me, in the second half of our runs that we seem to really start picking up damage and HP and things like that. Remember, this is going to be a long ass run. We've got to go all the way down to the chest. Or up to the chest, I guess, whatever your view is on that one. There we go. Item room. Oh, we don't know what it is. The pinking shears. Cut and run. 
Um, I think this is a good item. <laughs> I vaguely remember it being called a good item, so I think it is. I just can't remember what it does. It chops your head off, to the best of my knowledge. Judgment. Judgment. We'll keep him there. You never know when he might come in handy. We might get a windfall on this floor. Oh, two of diamonds. She probably went back and used two of diamonds. Now I think about it, that was silly. Okay. There's the other one. So you can't get us here, hopefully. There we go. Easy enough. Haven't keep, been keeping an eye out for Tinted Rocks nor Secret Rooms. That's all on me, though. Move over here and let these guys kind of swirl around. Line them up a little bit. Hey, skeleton key. Very nice. Means we can go get a shop. Check out what's in it. Oh, of course we can't check out what's in it. We'll go <laughs> Curse the blind. So we're just going to leave that. Just keep hammering away these guys. There we go. I'm going to get rid of this guy just because I hate these flies. Should be the right way to the boss. I think we're heading the right way. Hey, money! Now if only we could justify spending it on an item that we don't even know what it is. But it's something fantastic as well. Come on. There we are. Should be the boss after this. A difficult <laughs> situation to navigate, that is. Something good. Never something good, is it? Right, we're going to... <laughs> I probably should have tried that out beforehand, but we're going to try the pink and shears in here. Yes, yeah, so right, so it gives you... Uh, your body as a, like, a weapon. Yeah, and he attacks folk and absolutely wrecks them. That seems to be the case anyway. Absolutely destroying Monstro 2, have that. Goodbye, sir. I guess we weren't really worried about what that item was going to be right there because the most annoying item of them all, experimental treatment, we already had, so didn't really need to worry about that being something we didn't want to pick up. Yeah, oh, I mean, I never thought it was out of the way of that. I thought it was definitely out of the way of that. Very poor dodging at the start of this floor. I don't make it easy for myself. There's no entertainment in making it easy though, you know. Have that. Piercing shots are fantastic for these guys. Because they just go straight through them. Come on, buddy. Come on. God damn it. Is there damage? I mean, look at the state of this. Pink and shears are like necessary for our run at the moment because we're just not doing any damage without it. I think it's maybe, I don't want to blame specific items, I don't think Cupid's Arrow offer, actually offers you a damage down, but it certainly feels that way. Is there anything we really need in there? Ace of spades, I don't even know what it does, quite frankly. Right, must be the last one then. Another penny, it's not really worth our time. Right. After this one. There we go. And we get ourselves a key. That's hope. Useless though. That's what we're looking for. Have that. Where are we? Depths one, depths two, so this is gonna be the mum fight. Are we ready? We haven't got the item room on this floor, have we? So, not going to bother. It doesn't look like we're going to get boss rush unless we get a phenomenal item in our item room and then sprint all the way back here, but it doesn't really matter anyway. We don't have any teleportation items to get ourselves out of trouble. I know I'm going to be swarmed by other guys in a minute. Like that. Our movement speed is still kind of subpar because of lard. That's okay. Uh, we got a bomb for our trouble, that's fine. Add that to our growing collection. Cleared that room up. Okay, so this was not the way to the item room. 
I thought this was the only rooms we had left on the whole floor, but I guess we don't. Have we already been to the item room? No, we haven't. So we've got to go all the way back to the start. Guaranteed there's going to be more giant rooms, no doubt. What a frustrating floor this has been for us. Uh, and we really spent the right way. I guess, uh, with some credit to <laughs> Pearson Shots for the way it takes care of the hollow. It just passes, literally passes right through the guy. Nothing to see here then. And those those disappointed. So disappointed in the lack of heart dropping in general. It's quite annoying, but. Ugh. Should be okay, should be okay. Not gonna chance it. I'm just looking for the shop quickly if we can. Don't understand how we took damage there. It all happened so fast, but okay. Definitely think we might need to just go find our shop. Ugh, bad, bad damage. I mean, I wouldn't mind because we have Dark Bomb to cover all of this thing, but nothing is dropping for us. And I haven't even found this. Oh, the shop's all the way up there. We knew where it was all along. I see this as being necessary and worth it. And it totally was because we got the paw. Ooh, not really used to pink and shears, so I'm not going to bother taking them. My reasoning being if we really lose a ton of HP, we can convert our empty red hearts into soul hearts and keep us alive a little bit longer. It's a survival technique. So I think that will work out better for us in the long term. I hope. Hopefully we don't even need to use it, that's the thing. Not too sure what this is, but we're not going to get any more shops. So why the hell no? Double item vision. Oh, that's cool. Now I know what it does. <laughs> Hey, thanks buddy. Oh wait, that was a key there on the floor. Thank you. So now we have two guppies paws. I'm just going to do something weird. I don't think it's going to count, but I wasn't too sure if you maybe grabbed two different guppies paws, then it was like two different parts of guppy. I doubt that it is, but I guess we'll find out if we get a third or second guppy part, depending on which way you look at it. Up to the boss then. No real changes to our circumstances, unfortunately. We have the matchstick, is that maybe impairing our chances here? I'm going to switch up to the Ace of Spades. Look at the draw, and then we'll see. Maybe matchstick gives you more bombs or something, because we have seen to get quite a lot of bombs in the last few floors. That could just be me totally daydreaming and inventing things, but I'm always, I'm always open to a good theory. You're just taking damage from everywhere so far. Oh dear. No situation. Oh my god, no situational awareness at all in this fight. Oh dear. I mean, we're not even halfway through. Oh. I was hoping that maybe either the foot would come down on us there or they should spawn at that door. Like that. Wow. We've actually. I can't, I'm not even going to look at our HP anymore. We can assess the damage in a minute. Oh my god. At some point, you have to accept that you're playing so bad and failure is inevitable. Uh. We're not at that point quite yet, but I don't think it's too far off. I don't think we're going to die in this fight, but if we play like this, we're not going to last much longer. Wow. I've not dodged a single projectile in this whole fight. We lost 6 hearts there. That's 12 hits we took in that fight. That's crazy. How did I play so bad? this? I mean look, look how hard it is for us to take simple enemies down at the moment. Uh, 
The thing is, it's not the worst damage we've ever had, but... Compare... Creep. Creep on the floor. Where did that come from? Ugh. You can't even attack these guys like at all. Still hard. Keeps us in the game. That was smart. These guys only attack at two directions. Okay. Dark bomb, please. Yes. Okay, so we're back on the road here. Back on the ascendancy, I hope. That was just a little blip. Our main problem, of course, is that our stats are not great and we don't really have any more ops pardon me again, options as far as uh getting more damage and stuff is concerned. It's kind of everything we have until we reach the chest. That's the good thing about if we reach the chest because yeah, we're not gonna reach the chest. <laughs> It's the good thing about if we reach the chest because we obviously get four guaranteed items down there. Providing we reach it, of course. Oh, come on. Yeah. Ooh. Absolutely zero kill on power here. I mean, look at this. This is pain. This is base damage, I think, quite honestly. Three, three hits. That is a judgment. Oh, wrong kind of judgment. Sorry. Go on, dark bomb. Okay, it keeps us back in it again. I mean, nope. Okay, I was going to say there's a secret room here, but... No. I mean... Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but my enthusiasm is slowly dwindling. And Zoo's vision. I guess we can pop that. It tells us where everything is. Which is vital for us at the moment. You never know when it might give you a boost, so... Ugh. Why did it even bother? This will possibly... yeah, this will probably be the end of us, quite honestly. I mean, look at, look at this, the damage we're doing. Okay, if we can k take the brains out first. I love that we formulated the plan and imme immediately screwed it up. That was, that was great. We don't even get anything for it. Wow. Well, this run is pretty much dead at the moment. There's nothing we can really do to salvage it, unless this is a room full of red hearts. Wow. Yeah. Eratoma. Let's see what you're made of, buddy. We're gonna pop another one. Sacrifice our hearts. I mean... Yeah. It's about right for this run. No deal. No, of course we took lots of red heart damage. Right, okay. The heart, it seems, will be our stopping point. Don't think we're going to get much further than that. But, we can only try. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Red pill. Makes you large. Makes us a bigger target. <laughs> Even the game just wants to get this over with at the, at the moment. Oh dear. I didn't even notice there was going to be a third one. Of 
Gotta stay positive guys, it's not over yet, we're not dead. As long as you're not dead, it's not over. That's the fact. As long as you're as long as you're not dead, you're alive. I guess that's the That's what I would say to you. If we could I mean look how many hits it's taking to kill a normal enemy. <laughs> There we go. Thank you again. Plenty of money now. Not that we need it. You know what? I bet you that guy all the way back in that Curse of the Blind floor is sitting in that shop with that item just going, you know, if you'd bought this, bought this, it would have been over. You'd be winning. Good. I was checking this. Feels like our damage is going up in this room alone. I doubt it has. So I was wondering what the, the effect of Ace of Spades is. I'm assuming it's something to do with the cards. Projectiles have absolutely ruined us today. We've had absolutely no chance with them. The one time I'm hoping for a dice room. <laughs> you have nothing left to lose. Useless again. <laughs> At this point, I have to ask what the point in Ace of Spades is. <laughs> Just gonna consume everything. Yeah, piercing shots. You'd have to say the secret room's here, wouldn't you? Or not? No item for us, no. Okay. Uh, if there's no, nah, there's not. And a boss. Wouldn't be surprised if this is where we're going to end up dying. Quite honestly. Yeah. Ugh. I think my focus is just not on this run anymore. Which is bad. Bad. I've got to stay focused. It's not over till you're dead. I think we are going to be dead very shortly. <laughs> Dark bomb doing work. What is behind door number two? Funnily enough, Book of Sin is actually quite good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thanks, Book of Sin. Well, we have no red hearts, so <laughs> we'll take Book of Sin with us. You see, this is why you cannot give up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> This is why you cannot give up hope. Use the Joker card. Come on. Three chests. We could get Guppy here, and that's it. We didn't, but we could have. That was, that's all the matters. Tears up. Even faster tears. One makes you larger. Don't know why we're going to use it, but whatever. I think it'll be funny. At this point, we just got to have as much fun. Oh, jeez, that is a joke, surely. I mean, four polycephal, three polycephaluses, I guess, but. No, it's four. Jeez. I don't know really what we're meant to do. Yeah, it says that's three of them down. And there's the fourth one down. That was crazy. Pack bomb. Nothing. I mean, like, we were literally railroaded into the centre of the room there, so... Two bombs, not what we need, but... We are just so big right now. Dark bomb. Save us. Thank you. We are totally just relying on him to even stay alive at the moment. It's quite funny. Yeah, I was trying to maybe drop a bomb and push it towards it, but then I thought, uh, 
piercing tears might not allow that. This is actually for the secret room, I think. The moon. So we'll use it. The moon. Three cents. Very useless. Gonna head back down towards tip offs now. And yeah. You like the world. I don't think we have like anything to lose at this point, so this is what we're doing. Full health. Funny. Friends to the end, friends to the end. Puberty. Alright, that happened. <laughs> Should be a secret room in here. There isn't. So we're just going to go ahead. There's literally nothing else we can do at this point, I don't think. We are a massive target here. <laughs> if we can avoid damage for even five seconds, that would be incredible. Hurts are not doing too bad. That was bad, but I was about to say, I guess it goes to show nothing can really beat the experience of knowing a boss. Which is kind of true. Yeah, I mean, I think a lesser experienced person may actually have already died by now, both on this floor and definitely on this boss, but we're doing alright, I guess, all things considered. We are still going to die here. I mean, look at this absolute clusterfuck of spiders. Somehow we killed them all. But we are such a huge target, there's no way we're going to be able to fit through these bullets once they start coming faster. Are they all bosses? This has just been a crazy, crazy run, and there we go. Well, there's the seed, guys, if you want to try that. Run from hell, that was crazy. Well, back up. I just want to check something. It was on normal, I was so sure. I felt like it was on hard, that whole run. There was just many bosses everywhere, there was no drops at all. But, you know, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry it turned out so bad. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. I'll definitely perk up for the next one. That was that was a bit of an annoying run. It really got to me, I think, and it really showed, and I apologise for that. But you guys stuck around, and for those who did, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm Needle in the North. Stay out of the basement.